Okay, so I'm going to show you how to perform a PM debug on a DTCI for the purpose of viewing Q931 messages traversing a T1 PRI circuit. Alright, so we're going to start in DMS100. I'm going to type in PM debug, DTCI, and I'm going to do uh, 7. Now, in order to uh, perform PM debug, you have to gain access to Tool Supervisor. Um, and I have a video on how to uh, figure out the password and get into that uh, utility. So if you need it, uh, send me a message via the YouTube channel, and I will try to help you out as best I can. Okay, so first off, you want to go to uh, HSG. ISDNCP, my bad, HSG, and you want to do a PRI dump. Alright, so it's going to list out information on every circuit that's on this, this uh, PM. Now I'm looking for DTCI 72, which is right here 24.2, D channel's on 24, and my SIDX is 3072. Now I'll use that, that number to identify what the terminal ID is of this T1 so I can view each channel and get more information. I'm trying to pinpoint the D channel of this circuit because that's where the Q931 messages are going to come from. Okay, so I want to go ahead and uh, come back, star to go back a level, star again to go back another level. I want to type in SIDX 3072. This is going to list out information about that, that port, that terminal. Alright, so these are the individual bearer channels, and this is my D channel right here, 7047. Alright, so I want to type in LLM SIM. Uh, see, I want to go to Options, and I want to select 7047. And that's going to put that D channel into my selected uh, terminals to view. All right, good deal. Hit enter, enter again, and it's going to show you that you have that that uh, terminal ID selected. Hit star to come back out of options. Now I want to type in monitor or M O N. All right, now once I make a call, uh, now I'm going to see the Q931 message. Now you don't want to do this on a PM that has a lot of calls coming across it because it's going to fill up your buffer. Uh, and you're not going to be able to stop it. You're not going to be able to turn monitor off. And something you never want to do when you're monitoring a D channel is uh, break and type in HX, halt processing. Um, it will screw up the PM and possibly stop all call processing within that PM until it restores itself. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make a test call and you're going to see the uh, setup message come across. Okay, so I went ahead and hunt up, so it's going to have a normal uh, call clearing. Uh, but you can see 6120007 called 8570143. Setup message comes across, alert, information, and then you see disconnect normal call clearing because I hunt up before the other side picked up. Alright, so to come out of monitoring, you want to hit enter. You want to type in MOF for monitor off. And then star yourself back to LTCUP. Now you don't have to do that, it's just uh, a habit that I got into. You just type in quit and you will leave the PM debug utility. Now something interesting about this whole process, this is coming from a DMS 100. Now if I go into the, uh, the router, the MGCP router that is associated with this T1, I type in terminal monitor and I debug ISDN Q931 and make a test call I get the exact same information that I got out of the, out of the uh, DMS 100 um, so it's much easier to come from the router side but if you're dealing with a situation where you don't have a router available to do this debug command and you're maybe uh, testing a circuit between two uh, Nortel systems, two DMS-100s, 
or other systems that it's a little bit more difficult to uh, debug this information, you would use PM Debug to see that. And that concludes this tutorial on how to perform a PM Debug on a DTCI and ViewQ 931 messages. Thank you.